Hello everyone, this is Mike from Rococo, and I'm very excited to announce that we have released our Rococo Live plugin 4.16 for the Unreal Engine 4.24. This video is going to be a brief overview of the new key features that are being offered in this new plugin. Uh, so keep an eye out because we are going to be doing uh, more tutorials that go more in depth with these features. But in general, this video is just going to be a brief overview. Alrighty, well, let's jump right into it. So the main bulk of this new plugin is actually the getting started map. So if you've already installed the plugin for 4.24, this will already be in your projects. So head over to the content browser and search for smart suit con content and click on the maps folder and you'll get this getting started level. Essentially, this is a reference for users. This is for those who need a quick refresher or those who are novice uh, to Unreal or to Rococo and want to see examples of how you set up the, the Rococo suit, the smart suit, or live cameras or props or really anything. Excellent. So a few things that I just would like to mention with this getting started map um, and some of the new features that we're offering with this new plugin is going to be up in the world outliner. Uh, we have a Rococo live camera and a Rococo live prop blueprint. Uh, I'll go more in depth uh, with these objects and these new components uh, in other tutorials, but essentially this helps and allows the user a faster and quicker way for you to connect your virtual production from R Rococo Studio into Unreal. Um, if you've already used the plugin in the past, then you're familiar with the Smart Suit Controller and the Smart Suit Receiver, but probably the newest feature in Personally, my favorite new feature about the new plugin is the Smart Suit UI controller. Essentially what this does, it, it allows you to control Rococo Studio from Unreal. It's a command API and I'll show you right here. So once, once you hit play, this pops up in your, in your viewer window and you can stop, you can record, you can calibrate, you can reset. Again, we'll go a little further in depth in other uh, future tutorials. Additionally, another really great feature that uh, you guys, our users, have actually been asking for is that you can now change the, or the origin of your characters and the animation that is being sent from Rococo Studio will be now based off that animation. So say if I move my, my character to this side, his origin over there, hit play, it will be based right there. Now say if I move it over here, and let's rotate it as well. Let's do it that way. It's not gonna be based off of uh, its origin. Another really great feature that we've added is actually gonna be in your animation setup. So I'm gonna head over to my animation blueprint for my character in this scene. And everything is still the same in terms of the blueprint. Uh, we still have the same four nodes to connect the smart suit data to your character. And you still will have to do the bone map. So if I click on the smart suit body pose, my bone map is going to appear. Now you still have to select the corresponding joints with the bone map. But what's really great now is that you can now save this. So if you're using the same character in another project, or if you have multiple characters in the same scene, you can now save your bone map. And then on the new characters, you can just click, bam, boom, you're done, you're moving on, on to the next thing. So let me show you how to quickly save or create a new bone map that you can then apply to new characters. So I'm actually going to exit out of the new animation, out of this blueprint. Oops. And what I'm gonna do is down in my content browser in this folder, I'm actually going to right click, hit go to miscellaneous and add a data asset. Then I'm gonna search for smart suit body map data select and I'm going to name it whatever I want so let's go new bone map great excellent so I'm going to double click on it and then this is going to be the your very familiar bone map um, unfortunately there's no drop down because it's not actually selected on an actual uh, character in your scene so you are going to have to type in um, the joints that correspond with the body map so Let's say we typed everything in. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna exit out of this. And now I'm gonna to go to the character's animation blueprint. I'm gonna click on the smart suit, suit body pose. And here's my bone map again. But if I scroll all the way down, I'm now gonna have this bone map override. And on this drop down menu, here is our new bone map. And if these joints actually linked up to 
this character's skeleton, then it would actually work, but it's not. But I, again, I'm just showing you how to how to do a new bone map. Um, this is honestly, this is going to save you so much time, and you're not going to have to re-plug in all these bone maps. I, I, we've heard from a lot of users that this is a, this takes up a lot of time, and, and we're really excited to be able to offer this to everyone. All right, everyone, that is going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, really appreciate it. Again, this was just a brief overview of the new features with our plugin for Unreal uh, Engine 4.24. Uh, keep an eye out for future tutorials on more in-depth um, lessons on how to use these features. Also, keep an eye out for everything that we're going to be doing in 2020. Everyone at Rococo, we are very excited about um, the, this upcoming year. Um, as always, head over to rococo.com if you have any questions. Uh, feel free to email us at support at rococo.com. And of course, uh, feel free to leave any comments and like this video. Um, thank you very much. And until next time.